it's 509 and that means it's grill o'clock again. Happy almost Father's Day to all the dads out there. This week we're gonna grill up something especially special for you. I've got a couple T-bone steaks and really nothing says dad more than a T-bone steak. I've made up a really fun barbecue inspired rub for our steaks. So there's a couple ingredients going on in here. There's chili powder, brown sugar, cumin, fresh minced garlic, we've got apple cider vinegar, Worcestershire sauce, and if you like it hot, a little red pepper. So I've mixed this together freshly, and we're gonna go ahead and rub this over our steaks. Ooh, goodness. This is going to make a beautiful crust on these one inch thick T-bone steaks. Now, a great reason to cook T-bone steaks for a family dinner is they're actually two steaks in one. So this is an awesome way to cook up two steaks and feed really easily a family of four. But maybe dad gets his own steak this year. Oh shit, where's my, where's my tongs? <laughs> Let's get these on the grill. All right, we're gonna close the grill and let that get to work. In the meantime, we're gonna use some of our leftover rub and extend it with a little bit of olive oil so that we can dress our Yukon gold potatoes. Now this is just a really easy way to kind of create almost a dressing out of your rub that you've already built and bring your whole meal together. All right. So we'll pour this over some quartered Yukon gold potatoes and let this kind of mix in. We're gonna put these on the grill as well. And the potatoes need about as long as the steaks do because we're looking to get grill marks and just soften them. All right, let's get these on. Mmm, that's starting to smell good. When you have nice big wedges, your potatoes won't fall through the grates but definitely set them on perpendicular to your grate lines. While we've got our grill open, let's go ahead and use just the last of this to season the second side of the steaks before we turn them over. Now, because you have both garlic and brown sugar in this rub, you do wanna be mindful of keeping your flame low brown sugar and garlic like to burn. We just want them to form a nice crust. So we'll go ahead and close this up for a few minutes and flip it all in about three, four minutes. So our steak should be ready to turn here. It's been a couple minutes. Oh yeah, that's great. Picking up beautiful color it's getting a nice dark brown, but it's not burned. Remember, keep that flame low underneath your steaks and go ahead and crank the heat underneath your potatoes. The potatoes need a few more minutes, so I'm gonna wait to turn most of them. We'll close the lid and let everything keep cooking. Okay, so our steak should be done. Now a hot tip about especially a T-bone steak is that with these bigger cuts, you want them to come off the grill and rest for a minute before you slice into them. So we're gonna set them on a freshly cleaned cutting board. Our potatoes probably need a few more minutes and a great way to utilize your rest time is to crack open a beer, probably for you and dad. 
I would recommend Quilter's Irish Death with this particular recipe. You could also use this Irish Death to spike a little bit of barbecue sauce to serve when it's dinner time. Oh yeah, that's a Father's Day celebration right there. All right, let's check these potatoes. They're getting, getting some nice color, some grill marks, and they're just getting just soft. That's what we want. We'll give those a few more minutes. I'll get a knife and we'll slice up these steaks. So let's cut into these gorgeous T-bone steaks. Now I mentioned this is a great sharing steak because you actually have two steaks in one. So a wonderful way to serve this, if you're going family style, is go ahead and remove one steak from the bone and serve the other on the bone. So you've got steak number one and steak number two on the bone. You decide who gets the bone. And I mentioned dad gets his own steak. So let's just make that happen. It's 5.09 and I'm with the Washington State Beef Commission at Iron Horse Brewery. We hope you have a great Father's Day weekend. See you next week.